EMC testing can be quite a complicated process if the radiation source not clearly visible. Your work can be much easier if you do full electronic design with droid technology and EMC testing with Hooker Matter test standard. My name is Alexei. I am a head of hardware engineer department at Droid Technologies. I and our team are responsible to design schematic, PCB, verification, testing, EMC testing, and antenna matching, EMI testing, and other stuff. At this short video, I would like to show you a typical process of the EMC testing before FCC or CE certification. For the current test, we need an anechoic chamber, one of our designed PCBs, rules for the EMC testing required for CE for the current type of devices, spectrum analyzer with connected antennas. The current device must be connected to the ideal power supply without any noises which located outside of the anechoic chamber. Inside the anechoic chamber must be only the device and antenna which will be measured the radiation from the device and no other radio emission sources. Now we are going to close the anechoic chamber and go to the control room. At the spectrum analyzer screen we can see that the whole spectrum of, of harmonics that our device generated. This amplitude of this harmonic should be much lower than the C regulator allows for EMC. At the plot we can see that our device can pass the C certification test. The best option is to have some soldering equipment and some components with you. This provide the possibility to real-time testing and solve the, some issues which we can see on the measurement equipment.